Good afternoon, our dear learners. Yes, you welcome Light Academy National Primary School. This is Teacher Robert. You welcome to this arrangement where we are actually teaching our dear learners some content that was left not covered in term one. This is Teacher Robert presenting a lesson for now in primary three. It's a mathematics lesson. I'm just going to start from the last topic of term one in primary three, which is operations of numbers. So this topic is not new. Our learners of primary three must have seen it in primary two and operations. But before we go into what I need to take for this lesson, I want us to first revise what is meant by operations. If I've not forgotten, your teacher in primary two must have told you that when we talk about operations in mathematics, we mean what can be done with numbers. So of course we have in numbers that you've known before, the likes of the counting numbers. We shall use that, we shall refer to the counting numbers because they are the ones that we always use when we are dealing with numbers. So under the operations, the teacher in P2 must have told you that when we talk about operations, we are basically having four operations in mathematics. The ones that help us to find the relationship in numbers. And these operations are, we can relate the numbers by addition, we can relate the numbers by subtraction, we can relate the numbers by multiplication, we can also relate the numbers by division. And these four operations are very important because one operation helps the other operation to work out. So the basic operations, we can say that basic operations in mathematics, basic operations, basic operations in mathematics, in mathematics, these ones are, the first one is addition, addition, this is the first one. The second one is a subtraction, is subtraction. The third one is multiplication, multiplication. Then the last one is the division. These operations are very important in mathematics. But of course we must need to start from their symbols because when you fail to understand their symbols, when you meet them in the questions, you might answer it wrongly because of failing to understand their symbols. I can use the brackets here. For addition, it's like a cross of this kind. This is addition, the symbol. The subtraction is written as this. Then the multiplication is written as this. Then the division is written as this. So those are the basic four operations that we shall look at during the study of this topic. So in the first place, it is always obvious, just like you started it in P4, in P2, I mean. In primary three, we start with the same order. When you open to go P4, we shall have the same order. It is basically always addition first, subtraction, multiplication and vision of numbers. So for this lesson, my intention is to go and we go over the first, the first operation, which is addition of numbers. Addition of numbers. Addition of numbers. This word addition of numbers is very important. However, just like at home, you are having sisters, brothers, you're serving the mothers, the grandmothers, grandfathers, and so on. This word addition, it's like a single word, but it, it has some other sister words or brother words. Some of the words that you have actually met before that have the same meaning with addition 
and we can see them being used in the questions are these words. So when you meet one of the words I'm going to use, simply know that they are telling you to add the numbers given. So the related words, similar words, similar words with addition, similar words. We can have the first one, the first one is sum. Then the next one, this word was used in primary two. We can use plus. We can also say we can use the word total. Then don't forget this common word also. All together. All together. All together. So these words here, when you meet them in some questions of mathematics, they have the same meaning with the word addition. They are sum, plus, total, and all together. All of these words mean we must add. So, to avoid taking a lot of time, I will first refer to some examples of the work which was done in primary three. Some examples here, or which were done in primary two. Some examples here. So in primary two, you had such kinds of the questions. For example, number one, they say add. Then they could say, for example, five plus three. So that was a sweet question. Just one digit plus another digit. So I know you must have commonly used the simple, simple materials to add these numbers. For example, let me say these are five balls. I could simply say, make balls, five balls. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Then for three, I'm adding these other balls, the three. One, two, and the three. So after making the balls, I would count them all and get the total, or the sum, or all together. So when you count these five plus these three, the total shall become eight, and we would have gotten the answer. So you used it to have such kinds of addition in primary two. However, in primary three, we shall have the same addition, but to a small extent, we shall have it changed in another order. These ones were single, single numbers, but we can go on in primary three and make up addition with the two digits, three digits and probably four digits if possible. So we can have the second one. In primary three, we are likely to have such kinds of numbers. They can even say five the sum, five the sum of 231 and 22. So we can look at the second question here. Find the sum of 231 and 22. So what makes a difference? In primary two, probably, you did not talk much about the place values. But just like in one of the topics of first term that you covered early on in primary three, you looked at the place values of all numbers. And I remember you must have seen the place values, the likes of ones, the tens, hundreds and probably the thousands of place values. So in primary three, our concern of adding such numbers shall be organizing them in a vertical order. You organize them vertically, basing on their correct place values. Therefore, I will look at the first number, which has more than, more place values. The, this is 231, it has three digits. But the other number has two digits. Therefore, I will first write the one with the more of the place values. For that case, I will say 231 plus, when I'm writing the other one, it is not bad if I can give the place values from the right to the left. The first one is under ones, the second one is under tens, the other one is under hundreds. So automatically, when you go to the second number I'm going to add, the first number from the right shall be written under the ones place value. 
So I will have the first number which is two from the right. I will put it under ones. Then the second two, which is under the tens, will be put under the tens a place value. But since the question has said sum, don't forget to put this operation. Sum means addition. Then from there, I will be able to have these ones added. Like this. Don't forget that in mathematics, the working is very important. If you feel you will get some confusion when you're adding, you can actually decide to have the side work here, like this, such that you can add the numbers under the same place value one at a time. For example, under the ones, I'm having the number one plus two. The answer I get here is three. Therefore, I'm going to put that answer under the ones, okay? Then we shall go under the tens of place value. The numbers there I'm adding are number three plus two. The answer I get is five. Where do I put the five? It is coming from the numbers under the tens. So the five is written here. But when you go to the hundred of place value, it is just one number under it. And therefore, I'm just going to write it like that. So by doing that one, I will have gotten the sum of those numbers. Okay? Away from that, they can also set another question in terms of words. So we can have this other example like this. For example, they are saying Mary, they are saying Mary had, Mary had 500 shillings. If she was if she was given more if she was given more one thousand shillings okay how much how much did she have together. How much did she have together? This is the other question, the third question. It's a wordy question. They are saying Mary had 500 shillings. If she was given more 1,000 shillings, how much did she have together? So our learners of primary three, these are words. But of course we need to understand what is needed in this question. At the first, at the start, the girl had 500. Later on, she was given more 1,000 shillings. To get what shared together, what does it need us to do? It is telling us to add the money shared before, plus what she was given as more. Then what we get as a single answer becomes the total or the sum of the money that Mary had together. So for this purpose here, to make it well organized, I will first look at the two numbers given. The first one, 500, has three digits. The second kind of figure has four digits. So to make the arrangement simpler and easier for me, I'm just going to write the one with the more of the place values first. So I will be I will just write this one as 1,000 plus the other 500. But don't forget, they are talking about money. That is the reason as to why I'm putting this first, because I'm looking at money. So 500, the first zero goes to the right of the first number of written. So I will have this zero written like this. The next zero for 500 under the tens, then the five is under the hundred simplest value. So after organizing these digits like this, at this stage, it is very important to understand that they told me to get the money that Mary had to get. Therefore, don't forget to put the operation like this. We can have this one now and we can get the answer like this. 
So we shall start from the right hand side, then we go to the left hand side. So in the under the first place value, I'm having zero. So a zero plus a zero is a zero. Then I go to the next one, a zero plus a zero is a zero. Then I'm having under the hundreds, I'm having zero plus five, which gives me five. Then probably under the thousands place value, I'm having one number, which is one. And this will be the one. So from here, at the final stage, I will put this unit here to show that I was adding money. And it is also very important that when we are actually giving the figure for money, we can group the figures. Like this is 1,500. You go to the right hand side, start counting every after three numbers from the right. You put a comma. For example, this is one, two, three. Where I end with the first three digits, I put a comma. And the money that this person had to get a married was 1,000. 500. So I hope we shall see very many questions of the same kind, but don't forget, these words can be used in any of those questions. The words like exam, plus, total, and all together. Should they use any of them in any question, just get to know that they are telling you to add numbers. So I want to end here for this lesson for addition of numbers. I just want to wish you well. Catch you next time. Stay safe and wash your hands. Thank you so much, Teacher Robert, Light Academy, Nassau and Private School.